As you know, I've been using timber for my railway sleepers, treated with creosote. They should last a few years. But is there anything else I could use instead? Well, I did try making concrete sleepers, which I'll show you sometime. But what about these beams made from recycled plastic? Hmm. Well, first of all, I want to say a big thank you to an Irish company called Next Generation Plastics, who kindly gave me these to try. Link in the description. In fact, they gave them to me last year, so I feel a bit bad that I'm only now getting around to talking about them. But I'll tell you something, they are brilliant. Easy to cut. easy to drill and maybe perfect for the job. In fact I ground off a little from both sides of a spade bit so the holes fit the pegs snugly. I was worried that the plastic wouldn't have the strength to hold up the little pegs firmly which is a vital part of the way I make my railway line, as you know. But this stuff is really tough and it won't rot and it doesn't need any treatments or any maintenance. And it's made from old silage plastic and things like that, which otherwise would have gone in for landfill or to be incinerated or end up in the sea. Next generation plastics make all sorts of interesting things with them, as you can see on their website. An excellent product from an excellent company. But how will they look in the field railway? Well, first of all, I had to get past a tricky situation. The railway I had built was just too close to the back of the engine shed. It was fine for single wagons, but I need the double bogey wheelbarrow wagon, and that needs a lot more width. To move the tracks, I had to move a whole set of points. Luckily, it's a bit awkward, but it's all pretty forgiving. I just needed to cut out a short length of track and haul the whole points assembly up about 18 inches with Ashley's help. And then bolt it all back together again. There's enough slop in the rails and the wheels and nothing has to be perfect, <laughs> which is a good thing. And it's why this whole railway design is so useful and practical. Okay, hang on. Like the old gold miners or the slate cutters or the coal miners, they just wanted something that worked and could be easily repositioned when needed. Be like me, really. Of course, it would be very rough for a fast moving passenger carriage, but that's not what we're aiming for here. Although one can dream. Anyway, with the two ends of the existing track lined up, I just have to fill in the bit in the middle. Easy. Using some wooden sleepers and some new plastic ones to test. There's quite a lot of variation in the cross section of the plastic sleepers, but that's not going to matter at all for this job. Now, unfortunately, the gap was just a little over the length of steel, so it needed an extra fish plate in the middle, but that's okay, because Will kindly used his marvelous milling machine to cut the slots and drill the holes to make some fish plates for me. And we're going to need loads of them for the rest of this track. What are you doing? <laughs> I had this big... What's it in there from last, last job, so that needs to come out. Oh, yeah, okay. Can you just dive in from one? Anywhere.
Lovely job. Tight in the wood, aren't they? Yeah, a bit, yeah. It's like it was nature, isn't it? Snug. Yes, thank goodness for that. I found some more. Okay, here comes the last piece. I think. And here we are, the two lengths joined up. So now, we just have to check that the wagons can run on it. Okay, let's try it out. Whee! Oop! Obstacle! People were doubting it would go through the level crossing. Mm -hmm. It's hard to think of a more useful thing for recycled plastic to do than to sit there through sun and rain being a railway sleeper. So I'm very excited to be trying them. I'm expecting them to do absolutely nothing for the next 20 years at least, which is a good thing. But I'll let you know. Here she comes. Oh, easy. It's so all in all a good step forward in the railway project. But the next step <laughs> is really tricky. We have to cross over some existing track. Uh-oh. Not at all sure how to do that. Hmm.